to imagine not thinking about something that you care about so much but if you care about it and it's not working then without meaning to you're thinking thoughts in opposition to your own desire but I actually care about being in movies for like the experience like I want to see myself I want to have this adventure I want to I want to travel a lot I want to I, I do it for the feeling I know it and so what I do in the process is like I sit down and I, I I have always a sentence, it excites me to know that in my dear reality, I feel excitement. And then when I hear it... So here's an important question for you. So what you just said to us, it's really good if it's true. It might be, might not be. This is really good. This is what you just said to us. I want to feel good. I want to feel happy. I want to feel free. And that means travel and lots of fun things. And it doesn't matter to me how it comes to me. I will take those wonderful things in any way. Yeah, those experiences. But we think you also want to be in movies. Yeah, because I love being in front of camera and... And it's in your vortex. The things that you've been sifting and sorting have put that there. So we don't want you to say, I don't want it when you want it. We just don't want you to focus upon something that is a problem subject for you and deny what you do want. Can you hear this important distinction that we've been making all day? There's plenty of movies in your vortex. There's plenty of movies in your vortex. But the way to them is not by thinking about the movies that aren't happening right now. So what do you want me to do? We want you to think about anything that allows the circuit to be open because when the circuits open, the movies will come. Anything that lets the circuit be open. And the conversation about the movies often doesn't let the circuit be open because you know too much. You've talked to too many. There's too many starving actors out there. There's too many people who aren't in movies. There's too many conversations about only a handful are really getting all the things. Well, I've been thinking about feelings and those feelings bring up memories of like past projects that were really exciting so that brings that's up the helpful. feeling that's helpful if you stay there but often that feeling changes you said it changes if it feels exciting to you then yeah. milk it as long as it feels exciting to you and then I go to the next feeling but often it turns before you really get any momentum going about it that's the key in all of this so let's back up and make sure that everyone understands how this really works so first you get anything you want that's first next you've put pieces of it some big pieces and some small pieces into this vortex and so not only do you get what you want but your inner being and a whole lot of non-physicals know what it is you want where what you want is and where you are in relationship to what you want it's not just that you get what you want here's why you get what you want because you've already put a vibrational version of it and there are non-physical energies the energies that create worlds who are on it do you believe that do you believe that what you want is being tended to what you want is more than the individual pieces that you put in because what you want has gathered together with those individual pieces law of attraction has been shining on this vibrational version of it and it has become more even than the individual pieces that you put there and it's calling you all the time now when it calls you if you're in the vibrational vicinity of it whoo, you feel enlivened by it but if you're not in the vibrational vicinity of it it feels like a nagging wife or a nagging mother it feels like somebody trying to get you to do something that you're not ready to do it's almost like go away and leave me alone if you're really not a vibrational match to it so if you think of it it feels like you want to follow through with something then the more it's calling you from here it always is and the closer to there you are so let's recap you get everything that you want and everything that you want is known by your inner being and you as you said to us accurately you are at varying degrees of alignment and so it feels different to you at different times that's all right it doesn't matter if it feels different to you it's only important that you know that your inner being will never stop calling that the path is never going to go away the path to what you want will never disappear the path to what you want is always valid and there for you the only thing that changes is your receptiveness to that path so if you're really resistant and you really want it you're gonna have a lot of hard knocks coming up
you're going to get it but it's going to be a struggle and oh you're going to write a book and it's going to feel so good to all the other starving actors who are reading it because that's how they develop the bogus belief that you have to pay a big price for your success is because there have been a whole lot of people who have wanted it and not believed it who have gone about it the hard way and so they teach you that it's hard work to get what you want but it isn't hard work to get what you want it's only takes alignment to what you want and you have to figure out what thoughts you think help you and what thoughts you think don't help you and that's pretty simple what thoughts feel good and what thoughts don't feel good so sometimes the thought of that wonderful time you were having when you were involved in a project feel good to you and sometimes they don't see if you can identify what makes the difference the thought that feels good feels good because the thought that doesn't feel good feels not good because because I'm on a certain vibrational level and the thought is the next one but it's easier than that it's like the thought that feels good was all of a sudden seemingly out of the blue you got the call and oh the feeling of elation about that yes yes that thought feels good and every time you think that thought it helps you every time you isolate that part of your life experience and you think about that moment in time it helps you it opens a circuit it opens a circuit so if you could think that a hundred times a day you'd open that circuit a hundred times a day and that would make a difference in what unfolds to you but then what thought doesn't feel good project didn't continue or you got the casting directors always say, oh, you still have a little bit of an accent. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. You're not quite right for this. And how does that feel? That feels like shutting down. So every time you think that thought, boom, close the circuit. Every time you think that thought, boom, close the circuit. So do you have the ability to choose the better feeling of those two thoughts? Yeah. You do. And that's all there is to this. Do you have the ability to think about your lover coming or think about your lover staying away forever? it's your choice it's your choice you get to choose and if you're choosing by how it feels now now you're choosing open circuit closed circuit open circuit closed circuit open circuit closed circuit and the more you choose the open circuits ooh, then the more momentum happens and the more your desire dominates and the more beliefs that haven't been helping fade into the background and the more what feels like magic happens to you and those who are watching you say oh man what's going on with you I just heard you say that for the first time the other day and you're already doing it I just heard you talking about blue glass and now the room's full of blue glass I just heard you commenting on how you'd like to be on that project and boom magic you're on that project the universe will give you as fast as you will let it everything you want and don't be hard on yourself because you didn't know <laughs> don't be hard on yourself if it takes you a little while to figure it out that's part of the process it is so much more fun to know that you want something and know you're not a match to it and then deliberately improve your matchiness and at the same time notice the response from the universe until you have an absolute undeniable understanding of the correlation between what that thought felt like and what happened next because that gives you such a feeling of empowerment and then you're no longer just waiting around for somebody else to decide that you're appropriate for something you decide that you are and you line up with it and then you watch them come to you because you decided it you see you've got casting directors and concierges and agents you have all kinds of consciousness working for you that you've just got to open yourself to and let them do what they do and I do that by always looking for the better feeling thought not always that's irrational as much as I can as much as you can and not to make that happen but because that is the preferred feeling choice I, we know it's a big price to pay for all the wonderful things you want to feel good all Abraham I felt good for so long and sure I got lots of magnificent things but what a terrible price I had to pay <laughs> feel good all day all day every day there's not one right thought there are a million better feeling thought that I can choose from there are endless endless, endless choices oh this is really good we really appreciate this conversation
the right thought is the one you can get and allow it's as good as you can feel that's the right thought don't try to get somebody else's right thought don't mm. try to repeat what Abraham has said as right as it gets is as good as it feels mm. but when you're consciously aware of it then it just gets better and better those right thoughts that are right for you and we don't mean right and wrong in the scheme of right and wrong across the board around the world we mean what's right for you is the thought that opens the circuit the most and what's less right is a thought that pinches the circuit off a little bit so a good feeling thought is way righter than a not good feeling thought but a, a thought of despair is in the terms of right and wrong and we don't really like to do that but a feeling of despair is as wrong as thought can get a feeling of anger is a much righter thought than a feeling of despair a feeling of revenge is a much righter thought than a feeling of despair and a feeling of overwhelmment is a much righter thought than a feeling of anger or revenge and a feeling of hope is a much writer thought than a feeling of overwhelm but a feeling of belief is a much writer thought than a feeling of hope hope is laced with doubt you're hoping it because you don't believe it we sort of kind of want it but you're hoping 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 Blah. hoping <laughs> but belief that's a much stronger thought than hoping but knowing 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 and so as you replay in your mind the things that you've lived you know how that felt when that call came you know how it felt when you got to be directed by someone who was good you know you know how you feel when you think about projects and you're not killing it with doubt you know how that feels can I think about the feeling too if you can do that that's even better because the feeling has less resistance even than the thought that causes the feeling because the thought might spark the other end of the stick the feeling won't oh you know how many new things you've led us to <laughs> take that home with you the intensity of your desire yeah. you said it to us first you said but it keeps being new it keeps being different that's why the evolution of who you are yeah. 